review of Singapore Math Early Bird Kindergarten Mathematics Textbook B. We're going to show you what's inside, we're going to show you the units that they cover, um, and the activities that they include, so you can see if this would work well for your homeschool kindergartner. They start with compare numbers, numbers to 20, number bonds, addition, subtraction, addition and subtraction, numbers to 30, time, numbers to 100, money, their glossary and index, and they always include a math at home section of projects and things you can do in your everyday real life as you go about your home life. Um, each unit, each chapter, as it were, begins with look and talk. And it's um, where you explain what's going on in the picture or you ask the child to notice things, but you're um, basically showing and discussing something with them. There's also book work that they do where there is writing involved. Um, I find with my kindergartner that um, I need to explain the instructions always per page um, of what they are asked, being asked to do, and there's always a discussion with uh, the parent. So that's the first unit in book B. Then we get into the second unit. See, there's a lot of, it's very colorful. There's a lot of good discussion, and, and they give a lot of good uh, discussion ideas and things that you can do to extend the learning. Pardon. Uh, the next one, again, beginning with counting and talking. This time you're discussing something else, and so on. So this is an idea, actually not an idea, this is exactly what's in the Singapore B kindergarten math book, the accompanying book to book A. The end of each unit also has your review. You know, that's the end of the review. It's a short one. What I've done with my kindergartner is if there's um, a section that we've really already done or that she's very just, it would be boring for her because she knows it, I will just skip to the review and say, okay, just let's do this review together just so I can make sure that she really gets it. Once we do that, I consider the unit complete. So again, look and talk counting and writing. They, they do practice writing numbers in Singapore math. A lot of writing of numbers, which is great. A lot of counting. It's concept based, which I am seeing and believe will give them a much, much better foundation um, in math to build on. I've been very happy with Singapore. We get into calendar. We've been doing this for a long time though, so my kids know calendar stuff, but we'll do the review at the end and make sure they've got it. Um, we're counting, and then a money section, which I like. We've already been doing money, but we'll solidify it further here. Section. This is where you can, it gives like project ideas for you to do at home. This one is make a scrapbook. Um, playing with cards and things like that to learn, and just having fun. And that is the end of that one. I did not do the activity book that accompanies textbook B this time. I did the activity book that accompanies textbook A, and I liked it, but for my kids it was overkill, and it was a little bit just too much. They got bored, and they didn't want to do it because they they kind of mastered it in the textbook. So this time I stuck with the textbook only, and have been extremely happy with Singapore.